Hello and welcome to Yak Quack Slips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 17 of Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island. In the previous episode, we died. Yeah, we are dead. We are in a coffin, in a crypt, a family crypt. And so we've got to <laughs> resurrect from the dead. Um, I can't actually seem to click on anything. I presume I'm in this coffin. Uh, maybe I'm not in that coffin. Maybe I'm in one of these other coffins. There's not really uh, anything. Oh, I'm in that coffin. I must be in that one. That's the only thing I can click on. Yeah. It sure is dark. Sure is dark. Kind of punch out. It won't ben open. Throttle I'm style. trapped. No. Help. <laughs> anything? Help. No, nothing. Um, a mallet. I can't use the mallet with that. Um, a chisel. Ah, chisel. Yep, and we're out. Awesome. Right, click, click on. Yikes. Ooh, what was that? Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's coming from within one of these coffins. Oh, no, it's not from Stan, is it? Because we did put Stan in a coffin it's around in Monkey me. 2. They must know my horrible secret. They'll never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against... Wait a second. I don't have a horrible secret. <laughs> I can't open it. Can we use the chisel again? Good old chisel. I think it might be Stan. Because I think he does have something in this game, doesn't he? And we did ridiculously lock him up. <laughs> I'm glad to be finally out of that thing. Even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. Well, hello there. Say, you look familiar. Uh, yes, well... Uh... Of course, Guybrush Threepwood. You're the one who locked me in there in the first place. Well, you see, I I've been meaning to... No, no, I won't hear of it. That was the best time of my life. Gave me plenty of time to think, you know? To think about the things that really matter. I don't know if you've considered this, son. But live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. Not to mention pirate raids and deadly sea battles, huge man-eating reptiles, dangerous quicksand pits, trigger-happy duelists, and of course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? No, but... but... Well, of course, you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? <laughs> I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life that I'm going to devote to making sure people's life insurance needs are met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made up. How? If you've been locked in that coffin, <laughs> how are you able to have business cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself, are you covered? Run along now and let me set up my office. Mm -hmm. We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense! This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. <laughs> oh, the, the return of Stan. You've got to love the guy. You've got to love him. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to look around here first because we've got to find... I think there was a... Uh, was it the, the niece, nephew, auntie? I can't remember now. Of um, Good Soup. Mm, no. Well, I, I didn't mean to click on Stan. I meant coffins. So I'm going to pick up Stan. Mm, no. No. School pile. Mm, no. Okay. He's going to take no to a lot of things, isn't he? Bone pile. Mm, no. <laughs> Let's get another skeleton arm. We've got one already. I already have a nice skeleton arm, thank you. Why have you still got that guy brush? Um, let's talk to Stan. I think I need coverage right now. Now hold on just a minute there, son. Give me a chance to get the office set up. Run along now. All right, let's get out then. I guess we have to... Uh... I don't actually know. What do I have to do now? Did I get anything from that? Apart from Stan, let's have a look at the business card. Mutual of Stan. Because you could die horribly at any moment. It's even laminated. <laughs> I don't think... 
I have anything extra. Uh, well, that was interesting. If we go back in there, is it going to be... No, it's not going to be sorted yet. I say we go up to the mansion. Now let's talk to this guy. Hi guys. I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No questions for the dead guy come back to life? No questions like is there life after death or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? Fine. <laughs> be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. Well, that was pretty um, pretty pointless. Let's talk to him anyway, see if he's got anything extra to say. Um, I thought if I died, I'd be buried with your aunt. I thought if I died, I'd be buried with your aunt. Well, isn't it obvious? You can't be buried in the Good Soup family crypt unless you're a member of the Good Soup family. A member of the family, huh? Okay, so we need to be Uncle Griswold, a member of the family. Griswold, it's me. Don't you recognize me? Recognize you? I've never seen you before in my life. What is your name? What is my name? <laughs> Vegetable. Hearty beef and potato. Split pea with ham. Wonton. Wonton. Wonton? I spent several years in the Orient. Hmm. I don't recall having any relatives with that name. Right, okay. So I guess we have to figure out a name that we could use. Where, where was the... Um, I'm pretty sure we've come across the family book or something. Um, can't think now. Uh, I don't need the ring story. Don't need that. How's business? How's business? Oh, it's just wonderful. Now that the volcano is erupting again, the reservations are just pouring in. Soon every room in the hotel will be filled. All except for that one room. The room with the guest that never left. Is this going to be scary? Because I warn you. Every night we heard strange noises coming from his room. Frightful crashing sounds that shook the entire hotel, each followed by the most horrible screaming and cursing. And then one night the sounds just stopped but were replaced with a terrifying wailing and Morning. I had the room sealed and vowed never to enter that hateful place again. Well, I want to go into that room then, by the sounds of it. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Right, let's go up here and see if we can get into that room. Come on, guy. I mean, I, I could have double clicked. Well, I didn't. Never mind. Right, I'm presuming it's that door. Can I look through the porthole? I can't. Minerva Stronheim Good Soup. Baroness of Borscht. Open the door, please, Guybrush. It's locked. Um, can we... Chisel it open. I can't jimmy the door lock with that. Can we do it with a pin or nail? I can't jimmy the door lock. We've got a pin, haven't we? I don't want to pin that. Oh, how about that laminated card? Yes. I guess I'm better at this pirating thing than I thought. It worked. Excellent. Now, what have we here? A nightstand? Bed? A bed? Oh, it's one of those pull-down beds. And a wardrobe. Let's open the wardrobe first. One thing at a time. It's so musty that I don't want to open it up. You're willing to break into a into a hotel room? But you don't want to open a friggin' wardrobe. Come on. Can I open this? I'm sure there's nothing in there except one of those hotel Bibles. Oh, God, I brought you annoying. You frustrate me sometimes. Pull the bed down. Ooh. Nice. I can't reach it. Damn. Right, what can we pin the bed, the, the bed down with? Um, boarded hole. Do we have a nail? Can we use a nail with a mallet? I've got a mallet and a nail. This will be perfect as soon as I find something to use them with. Use it on this. I'm 
pretty sure that's what we gotta do. Maybe, I don't know. One nail will never be enough to hold down this bed. Ah, uh, do we need do we need to What else do we have? Hmm, not a lot really. You can't pin it down. I don't wanna pin that. Oh. Paste? Maybe the paste? Don't I mean I'm saying even as I'm saying it, I'm saying no, that's silly. I can't paste that. Right. Maybe I can climb on the bed. Can I climb on the bed? Wow. I'll bet his room charges are pretty happy by now. Um. Can I get to the other... I mean, there's a window there. Maybe I can go through to the boarded hole. Can I put something... Is there anything heavy I've got? I can put on the bed. Mallet? I can't use the map like that. No. Open the window. It won't open. Smash the window. I can't use the mallet with that. Come on, Kybrush, look through the window. It looks out over the cemetery. Creepy. Pick up the porcelain. Yeah, porcelain. <laughs> Can I do something with the wardrobe? Can I... Um, no. It's so musty that I don't want to open it up. Nah. It's a really musty smelling wardrobe. Is there anything on the carpet? It's a nice carpet. Bed. Maybe I can put something underneath the bed. Well, I need to pull down the bed first. So I need to pull down. Maybe I need to find just some more nails, because he just said one nail is not enough. Is there any nails anywhere? Maybe there's maybe they're back in the um in the cemetery. Do you reckon? Um yeah, I think I'm going to go back to the cemetery and see if there's any more nails. Because I don't really... I don't recall seeing any nails anywhere. But um, let's do that. Um, firstly, I'm going to see if there's any information about the Good Soup family in here. Because there was a couple of paintings in that, wasn't there? I think that's it. Old portraits. It's a bunch of old portraits of the Van Salad family. Oh, Van... And I thought the Good Soups were a homely bunch. Oh, Van Salads. That's a different family altogether. Ah, come on. Let's go to the cemetery and see if we can find some nails. Any nails elsewhere? Hmm, don't think so. Let's have a quick look in here. Finding cabinet. Oh, this didn't... This have some details about it. It's labelled Good Soup Family Records. Yes, this is what I want. Open. I'm sure it's just a bunch of legal stuff I couldn't hope to understand. What? Yes, but I need to know names, Guybrush. Names. Nah. Oh, Guybrush, you useless piece of cheese. Okay, let's go to the cemetery then. I don't think there's anything on here, is there? No, not yet. Maybe there will be one day. But not at this moment. Right, where are we going? Cemetery. Ooh, it's got lights on it now. Oh, look at that. Let's go in there. <laughs> Mutual of stand, does that say? How, I mean, how did he manage that? Banker's lamp? Desk? Executive thingy? <laughs> Photo? Right, come on then, let's talk to Stan. I mean, where'd you get all these from? Water cooler. You've convinced me I want to buy some You've insurance. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you can afford to buy an insurance policy, it's whether you can afford not to. Speaking of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend, all sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. If you can't at least show me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. 
So we have to find some collateral as well. How about an enormous uncursed diamond? This antique bottle, this one-of-a-kind refrigerator magnet, this fine cane-handled umbrella, this authentic pirate tooth. This authentic pirate relic. A genuine tooth from an actual pirate. Only one of its kind. Is that real gold? The finest known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. Now you're starting to speak my language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. And you can rest assured that you provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow. Wow is right. Now I want you to be careful out there. Okay, I will. Thanks. No, I'm serious. I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. <laughs> All right, so, um, insurance policy. Stan is one dodgy This entitles dodgy the person. bearer of this document to the sum of a lot of money. On the event of the demise of wonton good soup. Oh, so is that my... Can I give him that, um, documents? I'm going to go back to the back and get some, um, give that to the nah. guy. See if we can pick up any of this stuff here. Mm, no. Anchor's lamp photo. Is that the photo that came with the frame? No, that's my wife. <laughs> Man, I wish people would stop with that. Mm, no. I don't think I really need any of these. Healthy tea, coffee maker, files. But then you never know. Like, I'm. I've been victim to not clicking on things before, thinking I won't need them, and then no. I do need them. Pirates don't drink purified water. <laughs> right, let's go back in here and give the insurance documents to that chap there. To prove that I am indeed one ton whatever his name is. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Oh, right, okay. Talk to him again. Um... There you go. Look at me. Don't I look just like a good soup? No, you don't look much like a good soup at all. In fact, you look more like one of the broths, child. They always did have weak features. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Every day I wander the Good Soup family hall of portraits and give my respects to each of my distinguished ancestors. Every distinguishing feature of the Good Soup family is there in those pictures. And I see nothing in any of those portraits that might remind me of you. Okay, so I think... I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. I think, therefore I am. No, I think maybe that book that the skeleton has there, up there, has something that I need. So I'm going to go try and, some, try and find some nails. Um, yes, let's go over here. Now there's got to be some nails around here somewhere. Workbench. Uncarved tombs. It's a Blackbeard's deckmaker workbench. I always wanted one, but nah. I mean, maybe it's not nails, because I haven't come across any yet. Recycling bin, recycled tools. Mm, no. Those are too far gone to ever be useful. Okay, crack between doors. Maybe there's like a forge in there that I can make some nails. It's locked tight. Can I break it open? I can't use the mallet with that. Chisel? I can't use the chisel with that. No. Okay. Um, what else could I use to put that bed down? What do we need the brolly for? I'll use that on the windmill, didn't we? What if we use the auger for? To cut the tofu mask. This is going to be for the... For the, uh, what's it called? What are they called? Glowworms? I know what I mean. You know what I mean as well. Can we pick up the fire? Mm, no. Can we use the empty jar with the fire? I can't use the jar with that. Can I use anything with anything? I don't want to lubricate that. Oh, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. Dog house. I don't think the dog would like that. Uncarved tombstone. I, mm. I'm doubting myself now here. 
I don't think we can get in there, can we? Crack between doors. Can we not just look in it? There's someone in there. There's someone in there? Was there someone in there before? It's locked tight. There's someone in there. Can we talk to it? I uh, just got <gasps> buried alive and I was... I feel I should remind you that as a government employee, I cannot be held liable for accidental live burials. But why was I buried in that particular crypt? The only other crypt is the Good Soup Family Crypt. It's only for the Good Soup Family. They don't want just any commoner spending eternity with them. So I do, I just have to become a good soup. I was wondering, isn't there a nicer place to be buried on Blood Island? Well, there's the Good Soup Family Crypt. That's one fine piece of post-mortem real estate. I'll tell you that for free. Okay, so we do have to become a good soup. And to do that, we have to get that bed down. How are we gonna get that bed down? Right, hurry up. Come on. Just gonna have a quick look in here, see if there's any nails lying around. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. Thanks, Stan. Right, bankers, maybe the, I mean, <laughs> there was nails in this coffin, I remember that. But, oh, na coffin nail. That's it, that's gotta be it. Come on, Garbo, she walks slower than a snail. Not that snails walk. Brilliant. Let's go. Let's go nail that dead guy to the floor. It sounded quite violent, but I'm sure Guybrush has done more meaner things than that. Right, pull the bed down. Wonderful. Coffee nails with the bed. I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it. Oh, I might need one more nail. You've got one more nail. You got it there. There. The bed has been nailed down. <laughs> that ought to do it. You just knew there was one more, didn't you? So, um, I'm just gonna have a look at the skeleton. Oh, do you have to walk around the entire bed, guy brush? <laughs> wow. I'll bet his room charges are pretty hefty by now. Gross. All right, nothing else on there before I have a look at this book? No. All right, let's have a look at the book. Good Soup. A Comedian on the, the Side. Good Soups. A Life in Pictures by M.M. Good Soup. Is that it? Is that... Is that it? Are you joking? Nah. It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about the Good Soup family. And it says I'll receive a new book every month, or cancel with no obligation. And keep my copy of Buccaneers and Bouillabaisse Bays as a free gift. So what do we have to do? It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about Can't the Good Soup the family. Um, do I have a picture of myself I can stick in there? Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe that? I can't use the insurance policy with that. I was thinking... If I cut the insurance policy up... I don't want to cut that. Oh, okay. I was thinking I could put the name Wonton Good Soup in there. But I can't. So, what can I do? What can I... Ooh, maybe I can put that in there? I don't think the portrait would look good there. Okay. Right. I think I have to get my picture in there. I'm thinking. Do I have a picture of myself? Not really. Is there a picture of myself? I mean, there's a tofu mask, but no. Right. Okay. Well, I think we're going to come to that in the next episode. So thanks very much for watching this one, guys. It's been a, it's been a all right one, I guess. We, we've we've got this dead guy down. We've got a book. We've got to become a member of the Good Soup family. And of course, smash that like for Stan. You've got to love Stan. Who doesn't love Stan? Right. Until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. And take care.